practice question. A parents' evening was planned to start at 16.30. There were 20 consecutive appointments of 10 minutes each and a break of 15 minutes during the evening. At what time was the parents' evening due to finish? Give your answer using the 24-hour clock. Okay, so we've got 20 appointments, 10 minutes each, so that'll be 200 minutes. We've got the break to add in, let's remember that, so we've got 215 minutes. Okay, 215 minutes in hours and minutes. 1 hour 60, 2 hour 120, 3 hours is 180. So I'll take our 180 off 215. We're not a 5, 3. So 3 hours and 35 minutes. Add that onto our 16.30. So 3 hours would make 19.30. Add on the other half hour would make 20 hundred hours plus the 5 minutes. So it would finish at 20.05 is our answer. Question 1. Teachers organised activities for three classes of 24 pupils and four classes of 28 pupils. What was the total number of pupils involved? OK, this is straightforward multiplication. So 24 times by 3, 4 3 is 12, 3 to 6 is 7, and 28 times by 4, 8 4 is 32, 4 2 is 8, 9 10, 11, so 1 1 2 plus 72 will give us 4 8 1. So our answer is 184 pupils. Question 2. All 30 pupils in a class took part in a sponsored spell to raise money for charity. The pupils were expected to get an average of 18 spellings correct each. The average amount of sponsorship was 20 pence for each correct spelling. How many pounds would the class expect to raise for charity? OK, so we've got the 30 pupils getting 18 correct each. So 18 times by 30. On to our tens. 8, 3 is 24. 1, 3, 3, 4, 5. 540 spellings. 20 pence each they're going to get. So we times that by the 20 pence. So, and to our tens, which is nothing, four twos are eight, five twos are ten. Put our decimal point back in. So, the amount they're going to raise will be one hundred and eight pounds. Question three. As part of the numeracy work in the lesson, pupils were asked to stretch a spring to extend its length by forty per cent. The original length of the spring was forty five centimeters. What should be the length of the extended spring? Give your answer in centimetres. OK, so it's 45 centimetres at the moment. 40%. Work out 10%. That's easy. 4.5 times back by 4 to get 40%. 5, 4 is 20. 4, 4 is 16, 17, 18. Put back in your decimal point. 18 centimetres is the 40%. So we must add that on now to get the total length. So 13, 6. So our answer is... 63 centimetres. Question 4. For a science experiment, a teacher needed 95 cubic centimetres of vinegar for each pupil. There were 20 pupils in the class. Vinegar comes in 1,000 cubic centimetre bottles. How many bottles of vinegar were needed? OK, so we've got 20 pupils in the class, 95 cubic litres each, so 95 times by 20. So 5 is 10, 9 is 18, 19. So we've got 1,900 cubic metres we need. One bottle is 1,000, so to get that amount we're going to need two bottles. So our answer is two bottles. Question 5. The morning session in a school began at 9.25. There were three lessons... 50 minutes each and one break of 20 minutes. At what time did the morning session end? Give your answer using the 24 hour clock. Okay, so there's three 50 minute sessions, so 50 times by the 3 will give us 150 minutes. We've got the break also to add in of 20 minutes, that's 170 minutes. So 1 hour is 60 minutes, 2 hours 120, so 2 hours 120, 120 of 170 is going to give us 50, so it's 2 hours 50 minutes, which we need to add on to our 9.25, so 9.25, 9, 10, 11.25, plus 
plus the 50 minutes. So 50, take 10 of that would make another hour, so that would make the 12, and we'd be left with 15 minutes there. So our answer is 12.15. Question 6. 6 out of 25 pupils scored full marks in a test. What percentage of pupils scored full marks? OK, to get a percentage, you want it out of 100. So 25 times by 4 gives us 100. Nice easy one there. In which case, we have to do the same at the top. 6 fours are 24. So 24 out of 100 is exactly the same as saying 24%, which is our answer, 24%. Question 7. What is 643 divided by 0.1? OK, the only confusion here is the decimal point. If you had to divide by 1, you'd be OK. So let's make it easy. Let's times them both by 10 and have 6,430 divided by 1, which is obviously 6,430, which is our answer. Question 8. In a class of 24 pupils, 3 need extra support. What fraction of the class do not need extra support? Give your answer in its lowest terms. OK, so 3 out of the 24 need it. We want to find out the ones that don't. So we'll have to take the 3 from the 24 and give ourselves 21. So 21 out of 24 don't need the support. We need to give that in its lowest terms. What are they both divisible by? 3. So 21 becomes 7. 24 becomes 8. So our answer is 7 eighths. Question 9. A teacher took a group of pupils to an aquarium whilst visiting France. The total entrance cost for the group was 160 euros. Taking 1.6 euros as equal to one pound, what was the total entrance cost in pounds for the group of pupils? OK, so 1.6 euros is equal to one pound. We've got 160 euros. So again, same as the one we had before, times it by 10, it's much easier. So we've now got 1,600 euros divided by 16, obviously goes in once, zero, zero. So our answer will be 100 pounds. Question 10. A pupil achieved 84 marks out of a possible 120 in a test. What percentage mark did the pupil achieve for the test? OK, so to work out a percentage, we take 100. We times it by the 84 and we put it over the 120. OK, big numbers here. Let's simplify it a bit. Get rid of our zeros. Divide by 2, give us 5. Divide by 2 will give us 6. So let's have 84 times by 5. 5 was 20. That's 40, 42. 420 divided by 6. So 6 is into that will go. 7 times 70, so our answer is 70%. Question 11. A school trip was planned at a total cost of £120 per pupil. The accommodation cost two-fifths of the total. What was the cost of the accommodation per pupil? OK, well, one-fifth would be fifths into 120, which would give us... To carry to 4, 24. We want two fifths, so we're times that by 2, which is going to give us 48. So our answer is 48 pounds. Question 12. A school's policy for Key Stage 2 was to set three and one half hours homework per week. What was the mean number of minutes to be spent on homework per weekday evening? OK, so 3 hours and 30 minutes. What's that work out into minutes? 3 hours, we times that by 60. So 60 times by 3, 0, 3, 180. Plus our half hour, which is 30 minutes. So that will give us 210 minutes. So 210 minutes each weekday evening. So there's five weekday evenings. So our 210 needs to be divided by 5. 5 into there, go 4. Goes into there, 2. So our answer is... 42 minutes.